The early 2000s changed the way we think about car safety. Some cars surprised everyone in official crash testing. Others exposed serious weaknesses. Today, we're looking back at iconic cars from the early 2000s and how they performed when safety was tested by Euro NCAP. Before we begin, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It supports the channel and helps this content reach more viewers. The Volkswagen Beetle mixed retro design with modern engineering. In crash testing, it delivered decent frontal protection for its time. Side impact protection was more average by today's standards. The Honda Accord was known for reliability and solid construction. Crash results showed a stable body structure. Occupant protection was strong, especially in frontal impacts. Saab built its reputation around safety. The Saab 9.3 kept the passenger compartment stable during impacts. Its engineering reduced injury risk compared to many rivals. The Volvo S80 focused heavily on occupant protection. Crash performance showed strong structural integrity. It stood out among large sedans of its era. The Volkswagen Lupo was designed as a lightweight city car. Crash protection was limited due to its small size. Safety levels were noticeably lower than in larger vehicles. The Fiat Punto marked a turning point for small car safety. Its structure handled impacts surprisingly well for its class. This model raised expectations across the segment. The Honda logo prioritized simplicity and affordability. Crash performance revealed weak occupant protection. It reflected the compromises of budget city cars. The Lancia Ypsilon focused on style and urban driving. Impact protection was limited, especially in side collisions. Safety was not its strongest feature. The Opel Corsa was one of Europe's most popular hatchbacks. Crash performance was average and predictable. It met expectations but did not set new standards. The Smart City Coupe surprised many despite its tiny size. The rigid safety cell helped preserve cabin space. Overall protection remained limited due to low mass. The Volkswagen Polo delivered solid crash performance for a small car. The structure remained stable during major impacts. It became a safety benchmark in its class. The Citroën Saxo was lightweight and simple. Crash testing showed significant cabin deformation. Occupant protection was weak by modern standards. The Daihatsu Syrian focused on practicality over protection. Impact performance was modest. It lagged behind leading competitors. The Fiat Seicento became infamous for its crash performance. Severe structural failure was observed during impacts. It clearly showed outdated safety design. The Ford Fiesta offered balanced everyday performance. Crash results showed acceptable protection for its class. Later generations improved significantly. The Nissan Micra emphasized efficiency and reliability. Crash performance was average overall. 
side impact protection was a clear weakness. The Peugeot 206 was one of Europe's best-selling small cars. Crash protection was respectable for its segment. Structural strength was adequate for daily use. The Renault Clio helped redefine safety in small cars. Impact protection was strong for its size. It became one of the safer choices in its class. The seat Ibiza shared engineering with other group models. Crash performance showed predictable deformation. Safety levels were solid and consistent. The Skoda Fabia exceeded expectations for an affordable hatchback. Impact performance showed strong body integrity. It proved safety did not have to be expensive. The Toyota Yaris focused on efficiency and reliability. Crash protection was respectable for a city car. It marked a clear improvement over earlier designs. The Volvo 940 versus the Renault Modus shows how safety evolved. The Volvo relied on mass and rigid construction. The Renault used modern energy management. Smart engineering proved more important than size alone. Crash testing from the early 2000s shows how fast safety evolved. Some cars set new benchmarks, others exposed serious limitations. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and tell us which results surprised you the most.